Texas Lutheran University. Emceeing today's ceremony is our own Vern Lundquist. Hall of Fame CBS Sports Broadcaster and proud Texas Lutheran alumnus of 1962. Burn, take it away. There, thank you. Uh, gosh, it's nice and cool. Uh, Nancy and I live in uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And when we left home, Day before, Day before yesterday, yesterday. look, the, the thermometer, thermometer is 39, 39 degrees. We, we stepped, stepped off the airplane, airplane in San Antonio, Antonio yesterday, yesterday and went, what? But, but it, it all worked out, and, and we, we are, are thrilled, thrilled to be here. here. Uh, uh, I had the pleasure, Danny Padron asked, asked me to speak to the team yesterday, yesterday. And, and I, I told, told them I was going to try and connect the dots to let them know how significant this weekend is for all of us as alums. I, I saw, saw my, my first, first Bulldog football, football game, game October, October 18th, 1958, at, at Matador, Matador Stadium. Stadium. One, One touchdown, touchdown scored. Charlie, Charlie McMahon, McMahon, the quarterback, threw it to wide out Buzzy Denier. They, they are both here tonight. tonight. They're, They're sitting, sitting right, right up under the press box. box. They are joined. Now, now think about this. This, this is 56, 56 years, years ago. ago. They, they are joined, joined by eight of their teammates. teammates. We, we had a lunch for the ages today and told a few old goat stories. stories. They, they played, played for Colonel, Colonel John Kramer, Kramer. and I, I can promise you that he made Bear Bryant look like Mary Poppins. Poppins. In, In the, the glory years of 1974 and 75 under Jim Wacker, Wacker the Bulldogs, Bulldogs won back-to-back -back NAI Division, Division II National, National Championships. Championships. Many, Many of those players are here today. We, we went, went through, through, you could call, call it whatever, whatever but, but kind of a dark, dark decade from the end of the 87 season to the beginning of 98 when, when they decided, decided to discontinue the football program. program. Tough. Ultimately, Ultimately, the Board of Regents decided to reinstate the program, program and we came back alive as Division III. Last, Last year, the team went 8-1, and, 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 and a while ago we were driving over to the Beck Center, and I saw... Cameron, Cameron and Brett Peavy's mom, mom and dad. Cameron, Cameron and Brett, Brett are here, here today. today. The, the one thing they all had in common is that they played, played their, their home games at, at Matador, Matador Stadium. Stadium. No, no more. more. We, we celebrate today the on-campus Bulldog, Bulldog Stadium, Stadium and, and I'd, I'd like to introduce a man who has, has a lot of responsibility for getting, getting it here. here. The president, the president of Texas, Texas Lutheran, Dr. Dr. Stuart, Stuart Dorsey. Dorsey. Well, this, well, this is, something. is something. This is a, a, a true, true dream come, come true. true. It, it is, is a great day to be a bulldog, bulldog. and a and proud day for Texas, Texas Lutheran University. University. And, and we're especially proud to welcome back our own alum and member of the Board of Regents himself, Mr. Vern Lundquist and his wife, Nancy. Thanks for doing Thanks for coming. For years, we've dreamed of hosting a true home game right here where our students live and study. We had a vision of a place that would be a home for our student athletes would build community and spirit for all students, would be a place that would attract our alumni back to campus, and a source of pride for all of us at TLU. We're not even done with the first day, but I say so far we've exceeded expectations. Now turning a dream into reality doesn't happen 
without commitment and leadership. I can't thank everyone who's been part of this, but there were three couples that we especially do need to recognize, and their early commitment got this project off and running. First, Dan and Sue Church. Dan's here tonight. And that's uh, Church Hill, one of the other firms. Thank you, Dan. Karen and Glenn Bloomquist as well. well. Karen, Karen and Glenn. Glenn. And that's Karen Byrne. Karen Byrne Bloomquist. And that's Burns Byrne over on the, uh, on the other side where the students are going right now. And, and special, special thanks, thanks to Phil and Susan, Susan Dunn. Dunn. And, and Phil will be our honorary co-captain co tonight. tonight. Thank, Thank you, you, Phil and Susan. Now, now this, this was a complicated project. project. It's, of course, part, part of the larger athletic complex that includes Ed Cruz's softball, softball stadium. stadium. Uh, but, but we had, had a great project team, uh, and starting with our architects, architects Luger Lammers, Chris Lammers is here, and Carl Hornbuckle as well. Nice to have you. Uh, our project control team has done a great job for us. John Lather and Anthony Calabrese are here. Thank you, guys. And I know our board will appreciate this, but they brought the project in under budget. Yeah. It was a great partner with Bart Lacan uh, and our old friends and neighbors, the Kaler Company, Steve Kaler and Charlie Kaler here tonight, and Paul Mueller. Thank you, guys. And, and representing us at every one of these meetings, uh, Athletic Director Bill Miller and Steve Anderson. Thanks for your work, guys. This, this is an especially proud day for our Board of Regents. Actions speak louder than words, and our board made a bold statement about their commitment to students in this campus by authorizing this project. I'm not going to try and name everyone because I might miss someone. But with all the members of the Board of Regents who made this decision at that time, please raise your hand and step forward, everybody on our board. Thank, Thank you for, for, for making, making this happen. happen. We've, We've had, had great, great community support representing the community tonight. Uh, we, we have, have our Mayor Don, Don Kale. Don. 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 And State, State Representative John, John Campbell. Campbell. As, As I, I said, said, this is for alumni and students, and they are represented by Will, Will Gare, who's, who's president, president of the, of the Alumni, Alumni Association. Association. Will. And, and Walt Presley, president, president of the Student, Student Government, Government, Government Association. Association. Walt. Unfortunately, the one person who really wanted to make this stadium happen is not here tonight. Kermit, Kermit Western Holmes was the biggest cheerleader and advocate for this for decades. And I know Kermit is pleased at what he's seen tonight. But we can recognize his family, the Westerholm family, is here tonight. Carolyn and the family. We're going to recognize them a little later on. I especially want to say welcome back to all the players, all the Bulldog players over the years who uh, uh, saw, saw this as a dream, but it, it never happened for them. This, this is for you. You told us how, uh, how much this meant to you, and that inspired us to, to make it happen. So welcome back. This night is for you. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Let's keep the momentum going. Let's keep this project moving forward. Go Bulldogs! Everybody who's on either side of me 
if you guys would proceed down here and form a victory line. That is with the exception of the current coaches who are present, current and former. There we are. I'd like, I'd like for, for all of you to acknowledge, where's Kathy, Kathy Yandel? Yandel? Kathy, you're being recognized. You can't try and sneak off like that. Our, Our former, former football, football coach, coach Fred, Fred Hightower. Hightower. Fred. Fred. Track and field, Kathy Yandel, you met. Patrick, Patrick Zarai. And, and the, the current, current coach, coach, Darlene, Darlene Holland. Darlene. Darlene. Now, now, if, if you, you four would head, head that way, way and help, help form, form the victory line. line. Whoa, that's, that's nice. nice. Little, little shout, shout out from the stand, Patrick. Patrick. I, would I would like, like for all the former football, football players and track and field athletes, athletes please, please stand, stand, stand as a group, group and be recognized if you would. would. Now, you, now, you guys, guys on the back row, I know you're in your late 70s, but get up. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen let's, let's welcome, welcome the Texas Lutheran, Lutheran University, University Bulldogs, Bulldogs as, as they, they break, break the ribbon, ribbon to officially open Bulldog State. Here they come. The 2014 PLU Bulldogs. for competition and exhibition. Bless those who come seeking fellowship and welcome. Bless those who come desiring to use their gifts and talents to honor your name. Bless those who come with a broken spirit that they may see reflected in all of our endeavors the gift of hope found in your son, Jesus the Christ. Bless this stadium and all the people of this community of faith and learning called Texas Lutheran University, that we may be forever a sign of the new life found in you. Guard and protect the players who compete tonight. May their athleticism be a testament to your good gifts, and may their sportsmanship display respect for all your people. We ask all this in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus the Christ.
touchdown the football. For more information, please visit tlu.edu.